Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Udu mobile app for the Android and the iOS devices. Now in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the Udu mobile app for the Android uh, platform itself. So basically using the Udu mobile app builder, uh, you'll be able to convert your Udu store into a native mobile application. So now it's not necessary to have a desktop or a laptop to shop from your store. The customers or the buyers can easily visit this store by using the mobile application and that too on the go. The mobile application has better user experience with splendid features and functionalities and it is fully compatible with your default Udu store. The mobile application provides a user-friendly experience and enhances the customer's engagement or the mobile platform. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the Udu mobile app for the Android platform itself. So you can see right now that I'm on the Android device. And before we proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So you can see that uh, I've uh, installed the uh, Udu mobile app from the Google Play Store itself and uh, I'm on the home screen of my Android device. So to open the mo uh, mobile app uh, for the Udu there, so what I'll be doing is I'll just be tapping on the icon there. So here you can see a splash screen is there uh, for the uh, Udu mobile application and uh, as soon as uh, we've uh, opened it up, you can see that we are on the home screen and here uh, you can find different options. On the top left hand corner, you can see that we have three horizontal lines. If I tap on that, that brings up the complete list of uh, categories that are there within the store itself. So from here, the customers can tap on any of the categories and can tap on any of the subcategories there that are there. And under that, they'll find the particular or the respective uh, products under that particular uh, subcategory as well. So you can see that here we have uh, four different uh, products under the components subcategory. Let's go back. So that was about the side panel here and here within the side panel here you can also see that we have an option uh, to change the language. So our Bo Odoo mobile app supports uh, both the left to right and right to left languages there. So according to your requirement you can choose English, Arabic, Spanish or French. Right now we have provided these in this particular uh, Udu mobile app uh, demo that you are seeing right now for the Android devices there and apart from that we also have a setting options when you will be able to uh, uh, set up the options to show the notifications so you can enable or disable that you can show the uh, recent web products you can clear the recent web by tapping on the yes option you can also clear the search history by tapping on the yes button apart from that you also have a light mode and a dark mode for for the app so if i tap on the light mode you can see that we are having the dark mode there and if i tap again we have the light mode apart from that we have the privacy policy so we can tap on that if any link has been attached to that you can open it up accordingly so that was about the side panel there showing the different categories and the uh, option to change the language here for the mobile application and the settings option here you also have the share app and the rates option for the mobile application now on the home page at the very top here you can see the different categories are being listed and uh, here we have the electronics accessories men's women's and the sale apart from that we also have these uh, sliding banners here uh, showing or displaying the different uh, discounts that are available within the store on the different products there and tapping on any one of them would uh, redirect us to the to the particular product uh, for example we have tapped on that and we are able to see the particular product right now uh, for which the banner was attached there now let's go back same goes uh, for the other banners as well it can redirect you to a particular list of products as well so uh, that was uh, about at the top we have the uh, different categories then we have the banners then we have the different sections uh, curated uh, there like the discounts for you having the different products that are on the discount here we also have a view all option to tap on that uh, particular option to view the complete list of products on the discount then we have the uh, new products that have been launched and we have the deals of the day and lastly we have the recently viewed products 
Now at the very bottom uh, of this particular mobile application, you'll be able to see we have four different options. One is the home. Uh, right now we are on the home uh, page. Then we have the notification section. So if uh, any of the push notifications have been sent out by the uh, store admin of the Udu store, all of those notifications would be visible to the customers under this particular section there. Then we have a search section. Now here you'll be able to search for the products uh, very easily. Here you have the voice search. You have the option uh, here you can see that you have the camera icon if i tap on that then you'll be able to search by scanning uh, the text or scanning uh, the uh, or uh, searching the products uh, by scanning a particular product as well so if i tap on scan as text uh, we will have to provide the permission to uh, make use of the scan and search uh, product by camera and we'll tap on the ok uh, we'll while using the app for now allow and uh, the camera would be opened up now here you can see that uh, around a lot of uh, results are being found as you can see so if you have any text uh, that is there uh, or the uh, product name is there you can scan that up and if that particular product is available in the store you can select any of the text that has been read and according to that uh, the particular product would be displayed to the customer there so that was the search option let's go back to the search here uh, and uh, here you can see that uh, we can also search uh, using the product image scan as product so if i tap on that we can scan the image of a particular product and according to that then the products would be displayed uh, to the customer there now if i tap here we can also search the products using the uh, product name so for example acoustic okay so that's how the text search works uh, there uh, you can search for the uh, for example apple and the products having the apple word would be displayed and the customers can select any one of them uh, to check that particular product now for example if i go to a particular product like the apple macbook here you can see that we have the product image here we have a heart icon to add this particular product uh, to the uh, wish list, I've added it to the wish list. We have a search, uh, we have a share option. We can tap on that and we can share it out as required. Then we have the name of the product. Here we have the price of the product. Uh, here we can change the quantity that we want to purchase as a customer. Here we also have an option to add the product into the cart by tapping on the add to bag product. If I tap on that, you can see that the product has been added to the cart there. If you want to continue shopping, you can tap on continue shopping. Otherwise, if you want to go to the shopping cart, you can tap on the go to bag option as well. So I'll just tap on the continue shopping there. So that was about uh, the uh, search and the product page here on the uh, search uh, section. You can also see we have the voice search as well so you can make use of voice search as well as per your requirement there to search products within the store there coming to the last option here we have the account option and uh, i've already logged into the account there let me sign out of the account for the time being and uh, let me show you how we can log in or how we can sign up at the Udo store using the mobile application itself so right now you can see that on the bottom right hand corner right now we don't have that account option uh, that was there because we were already logged into the customer account now to the right of the search we have the login option so if i tap on that we'll see this particular interface where in we'll be able to uh, log in sign up or we can continue with our facebook or the google account as well to log into the account there to log in you can just tap here on the login button into the uh, email address the password tap on the login button if you have forgot the password you will be able to set the password here by tapping on the forget password you can also sign up by tapping on the sign up option that we have create pro, uh, provided there or you can also continue with the social networks like the facebook and the google to log into your account at the udu store there now let's tap on the back button to sign up just tap here on the sign up button enter your email address your name your uh, enter your password that you want to set for your account uh, reconfirm your password agree to terms and conditions if you want you can view the terms and conditions by tapping on the view and terms and view terms and conditions as well and then tap on the sign up button there now let's tap on the login here and uh, after entering the details here uh, for my customer account i'll tap on the login button 
uh, you'll also be able to opt for the fingerprint login if you want for now I'll just tap on the cancel button so you can see that we have successfully logged into our account and on the bottom right hand corner uh, now we have the account option so if I go to the account option here uh, you can find the details here if you want you can add your image as well by tapping on the edit button and uploading an image for the uh, account there of the customer apart from that here we have the dashboard account info address book all orders my wish list and the sign out button under the dashboard uh, we'll be able to see a complete overview of the recent orders that we've placed uh, the account information from here we can uh, set up uh, change our account information by tapping on the edit button and uh, we can uh, change the password by enabling the change password option or we can uh, deactivate our account temporarily or permanently by choosing the respective option here for the deactivate temporarily we can tap on the deactivate button for the deactivate permanent we can tap on the deactivate uh, apart from that you can also download all information regarding your uh, account by tapping on the download all information and here you can see that we have already received your request it's in the pending state so uh, i'd already uh, tapped on that and uh, that's how you can also download all the information there now if i tap on the back button there uh, we also have under the dashboard we have the address book from where we'll be able to manage our default billing address and the default shipping address as you can see so here you can edit the billing address and the shipping address if you want you can also change the shipping address by tapping on the uh, change shipping address link at the bottom end that you can see so that was about the dashboard coming to the account info this is the same section that we access through the dashboard itself uh, by tapping here on the uh, edit option under the account info section as you can see uh, then we have the address book uh, from here you'll be able to find your billing address and your different uh, shipping addresses that you already added to add a new address you can tap on the add new address button set up your name your telephone number your street city zip code your country and tap on the save address to save your particular address as well you can also make use of the google maps as well by tapping here uh, uh, on the uh, on the uh, icon that you can see for the uh, that is a circular option there uh, so if i provide while using the app okay so you can see that automatically uh, my uh, street address, city, zip code, country and the state has been uh, saved there. Uh, and then we can also ha have the option to pick up a location there. So according to that, we can also pick up a location as per own, own requirement there by tapping here on this pin icon that you can see on the bottom right hand corner just above the uh, location icon that's there. Now let's go back. Then we have the all orders and here the customers would be able to see the complete list of orders that they have placed and they can tap on any of the uh, orders there to check the order details along with the products that they have ordered and the grand total and the subtotal along with the tax as well. Now let's go back. Then uh, after the all orders we have the my wish list. So if I go to my wish list here you can see the particular products that we have added to our wish list. And from here, what we can do is we can move it to the shopping cart or we can delete it from the wish list as well by tapping on the delete button there. So uh, the last option that we have here within the Odoo mobile app for the Android uh, platform there is the sign out button. So if I tap on the sign out button, we'll be signed out of the account panel there. And uh, let's uh, go to this uh, top right hand cart. So if I tap on the cart, we can see the total number of items within the cart from here we can uh, change the quantity of the products that we have already added into the cart along with that uh, you will be able to have the option to empty the shopping cart as well and from here you can proceed to the checkout by tapping on the proceed to checkout button as well so here you can see that i've already added two products there and uh, to continue the shopping you can tap here on the continue shopping otherwise if you want to make a checkout you just need to tap here on the proceed to checkout button and then uh, here you'll be able to see your billing address you can edit that up if you want to add uh, a new address you can uh, from the drop down you can select your addresses here otherwise if you want to add a new you can tap on the add new address otherwise you can tap on the continue button on the shipping method uh, you will have to choose a shipping method for your uh, order there and then tap on the continue button 
and then you can choose your payment information or you can select a payment method for your uh, particular order that you are going to place and then you have to tap on the continue button and lastly you can uh, review your order by checking the number of products or the products that you have added into the cart with which you want to make a checkout uh, the uh, billing address, the shipping address, the shipping method that you have selected, the payment method that you have selected and you can also see the subtotal shipping and the taxes and the total there and uh, before placing the order you just need to agree with the terms and conditions there and then you need to tap on the place order button and here you can see that uh, the order has been received and the order id is s0046 and after that you can tap on the uh, continue shopping if you want to check uh, your particular order that you just placed you can go to the account section uh, go to all orders and here you have the order that's the s0046 the top one if I tap on that, I'll be able to see the complete details of the order itself. So uh, that were the account options that the customers get. As you can see here, that's the dashboard, account info, address book, all orders, my wishlist and the sign out option. Uh, within the mobile app, they have the search option as well, uh, wherein they'll be able to search the products using the text, uh, voice, and they can search the products using the text. Uh, 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 scan as text and scan as product as well these two options are there and apart from that we have the notification section here you can see that we had just placed the order there and here we have one notification that's thank you for your purchase your order has been placed successfully and then we have the home option for the Odoo mobile application uh, that I have already taken you through uh, and on the left hand side we have the categories the language section to choose the LTR or RTL languages for the mobile or the for the Udu mobile app itself and the settings option there so yes that was much about the Udu mobile app for the Android uh, platform and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the Udu mobile application itself if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.